Well, alrighty, my auction box has arrived. I did a couple of auctions in July, and this is the second delivery. Uh, before we get into that box, though, I want to show you what's over here. Okay, I got this at auction. It's an NVR, and it has something to do with home security system. And these sell for quite a bit, so I'm pretty excited that I won this at auction. Although I had no idea it was, you know, it's gigantic. It's very large. This is a, a newspaper folded over, and that's how big it is. Crazy. So, let's see what's in the box. I'm using a selfie stick. Actually, I'm going to make it stationary to make this a little bit easier now. Oh, the kitty. Oh, kitty. That was the wrong time to jump in there. Come on, baby. Okay, I know. She gets excited when boxes show up. I think all cats do. All right, let's take the paper off. Or let's leave it on and pull things out so it's still a mystery. Oh, what's that? I'm not sure what this is. Maybe I need to turn my light on now. the mixed together one. You know, I want to get more professional. This is a soft light. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's some kind of a an office kit. There's a sharpener, and I'm going to guess that's a mechanical pencil. Something's missing. It might still be in the box. Oh, look, a tiny deck of cards. That's from something else. I love tiny decks of cards. Wow tape dispenser it's really dirty like I guess you can refill that one I don't know or maybe once it gets empty you just replace it but this is kind of neat for a oh look a little measuring tape stuff when you're making listings this kind of stuff might be useful when you're making listings I can't figure out what's in there I think those are I think those are paper clips and that's a little knife and File. Wow, I really like this. That's probably an eraser. Is that a little tiny stapler? Look at that. Maybe the things that are missing are in the box. We'll see. This must have been part of another lot. I don't, I, I say this every video probably, so it's tiresome, but I don't remember what I got, so. Since we can see this, let's get it out. This is a Tonka Power Tools, and it says 24, let me see if I can zoom out, oh, that was zooming in, 24 virtual tools in one, and there's a CD-ROM in there. This is a very large toy, so I'm really not sure about whether this will be on eBay or not, we'll have to check comps obviously oh yeah that's what one of the missing things was in the kit I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the paper off now Let's set this aside boy I don't know if I'm getting in the camera but I didn't brush my hair so I hope not oh okay yeah I want a lot with playing cards in it. Now this is not sealed. Let's see. Oh, but the inner ones are. This is still sealed. So this may have some resale value. I collect I collect odd things and I have begun to collect decks of cards. So um oh whoops so I did I didn't I don't want these though, but I do want these. So there's a, a mixed collection here. This is Square Bob, I mean <laughs> Square SpongeBob Square Pants. And it's a deck buddy. I guess it holds your cards. And these look like SpongeBob cards. Now I'm not interested in these for myself, but if I look them up and they're not going for a lot of money, 
this is one of those things I'll hold on to for a few years because the value will gain. This is from 2006, so that's, that's already kind of old. It might have value already. And I don't know how collectible SpongeBob is. Here are some more from the card lot. These say Parts King. So this is personalized for some auto parts store. I don't know if that'll ever be worth anything. Worcestershire Cathedral. Huh. That is a that's a British or a French. That's something from the European money symbol. So I don't know. That says playing cards. They don't really say anything else. There is French on this because this was probably Canadian. It says Chevrolet. So maybe these are, yeah, there's the Chevrolet symbol. So those may have resale value because, oh, and in case you didn't notice, I have a mic now. So I can do this without worrying so much. This holds your sheet, bed sheets tight. No more snaps or straps. Obviously, this will be something I can sell. Some of these things are for, you know, me and my family. Some things are made to sell, obviously. This is for sale. Big Bang Theory, Bazinga. It's a pin and bookmark set. I definitely plan on selling that. Oh, it's getting warm. I had to turn off the air conditioner. Oh, I love these. I got one of these uh, with my... You know when you order a mattress? I'm going to have to pause. I'm too hot. I need to turn on the AC. You know when you order a mattress that comes all rolled up in a box and it's got all the air taken out of it? And these are fabulous for opening boxes. Very good for opening boxes. So I always welcome having more than one of those. Oh, look. Here's another one. They're called letter openers, but I think they're great for opening boxes. Epa Smooth removes hair at the root. My daughter might want that. So I might I might give that to her. I doubt it sells for much. Those things are pretty cheap. Wow, more decks of cards. There's a lot of them. Oh, I'm excited about all the cards. Wow, there's a lot of them. I didn't realize it. Let's look at them one by one though. That's fun. That says Atlantic City Seagull. Now this does not look sealed. I'm kind of shaken. These are old, it feels like. Made in Hong Kong. Usually the things that say made in Hong Kong are old. Plastic coated playing cards. Seagull playing cards. I wonder if they have pictures of Atlantic City or just a static picture. Okay, it's just a static picture. It's the one from the cover. You can tell these have never been played. I'm not even going to pull them out. The Jokers are still in there. We just saw the Joker. That's very exciting. I don't know if this will be in my collection or if this will be for sale. This is one of those I have to look up first. Another Parts King. Don't think those will be collectible, so I'm not sure what to do with that. Grandparent Talk. Connecting generations with conversation. A fun way to interact with your grandkids. So I guess it gives you questions to ask. Where did you hang out when you were a teenager? Or what have you been able to do as a result of saving money? You know, this is probably, probably a good idea for our generation. This is from a, a company called Around the Table Games, I believe. This is a little bit sticky. I'm not sure what's on that. I'll have to look at that in a little bit. Boy, these cards are so much fun. It just says playing cards. This is sealed. And it's got a boot on it. I don't know how I'll find out the maker of that one. That one says Made in China. These may be more recent. Oh, this is the one. I'm hoping this is worth something. John Deere. 
collectible vintage add playing cards. Well, you didn't know there was an interruption, but I heard a lot of noise and I had to go investigate. And sure enough, one of them was still awake. 2.30 in the morning. Summertime, summertime. Oh, I still got decks of cards over here. Okay. Oh, John Wayne. These are John Wayne cards. Those may have resale value also. New in package. And this one says something I don't understand. Malifaux? Gremlin Arsenal deck. So this is not, um, these are not like regular playing cards. This is something else. All trademarks including Malifaux, places, images, things. W y r d miniatures weird miniatures made in china 2005 2014. oh i'm i'm reading stuff that y'all can't see because it's not focusing maybe that helped okay so this is something like a pokemon sort of a card deck i'm guessing all right and then what's this oh it's a little case for your gopro or whatever your action camera case Wow, 1995. This might have resale value. I do not. Oh, well, actually, there are a couple of these at, at our house. And no one really uses them. If that's a GoPro, I've seen them charging on the office desk for a long time. Well, maybe I'll figure out how that works. I do hope to one day do storage units. That's my next big adventure but as of right now I don't have the physical strength to take care of cleaning out a storage unit that I have found yet I mean obviously if I find one for 10 bucks it looks like it just has bags of clothes in it I could take care of that but most of the ones I'm finding that I want have furniture in them because if you're a reseller and you have well, obviously, you have a place you keep all your stuff. Well, I have a storage unit, and I would like to. It's um, one of those shipping containers. I rent a shipping container for a very reasonable amount of money. It's only $100 a month. You know, I don't mind sharing that. And that's very reasonable. And the reason I really like it is because all of the storage units I've ever had in the past, you end up having spiders in them. Some of them have mouse traps around, which would make me think there must be mice. So, you know, the shipping container seals. Every time you open it, you're breaking the seal. So, it's wonderful. I have found there's not even a gnat in there. <laughs> it's great. I love it. But I want to line all of the walls with shelving and, you know, places to store things. This is a hand tally counter, which may be useful if you're... Um, trying to keep up with how many people have come into an event. This is, looks brand new. Oh, there's the little numbers. Well, somebody counted up to 14 with it. Why is this not focusing automatically? Huh. I don't know how to make that little window go away now that I've created it, and that's where it's going to keep focusing until I press the... Let me try pausing and coming back. Well, no, that didn't work. It's just holding my focus wherever I left it. There's another hand tally counter. There's two in there. Oh my goodness, there's so many more decks of cards. I kind of want to save them for a minute because I love them so much. This is something. What is this? Huh. Oh, this is something you put on your visor. It's anti-glare. Which, you're getting glared because of the, the light I had to turn on. So there's two. One for day and night. Blocks ex, block ex, excess glare and maximize driving safety. I don't know if I'll keep this or sell it. We'll see how much it goes for. It might be something that would be good for me to have. Uh, but, you know... <laughs> As I just said that, I realize how ridiculous that is because I don't drive anywhere. I'm a major hermit. 
And this is a crumb sweeper, which is a cow. Look at that. It's a cow, isn't it? Or is that a pig? What is it? Animal tabletop vacuum. Easy to use, one touch operation. Crumbs disappear quickly. I'm positive this will sell quickly. Unless, you know, it's something kitschy and like this. Oh, I hope that didn't disturb your view there. You know, if they make them in China and there's like hundreds of them for sale already, I don't know. We'll have to find out. These feel like shower curtains, and I really don't remember ordering shower curtains. But for sure, that's what they are. These are going to go into my... Um, I have a minivan that I have a bed in. And I keep my bug out bag and lots of supplies in there. These are going to, because they're still folded up so nicely and in cases, these are going under the bed in there. Those will be great tarps if you ever need a tarp while you're camping. Which I hope to one day camp again. I haven't done it in a while. Breakfast at Tiffany's OPI cocktail party. Huh. These are liquids and they made it here just fine. That's great. I'm not sure what these are. Maybe they're little soaps. Vanilla lavender hand and body lotion. Oh, these are all lotions. You know, if this doesn't sell for a whole lot, I might keep this. This is a cute little gift if you needed a quick gift for someone like, you know, I don't know, there's an old folks home near here too and I have quite a few things I want to take there. I've been trying to build up a big load to take. Oh, what are these? <gasps> fire starters. Check that out, they're keychain fire starters, magnesium fire starters. Wow, I already have a, a couple of these and I have more because in my bug out bag, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but you can get this little metal well, whatever. I have a lot of supplies, but one of them is a little metal tin. And when you open it up, it has all kinds of things you might need in there, like a fishing hook and some line and some waterproof matches. And, and it has another one of these. So not only do I have two rods with strikers attached to them, which these have strikers in the back, pretty sure. This is great. They sell these in the store. This looks like big stuff. Harbor Freight. Huh. That's neat. Anyway, mine. <laughs> I love collecting camper and um, things that you might need if you were camping. Oh, this looks neat. A Krypton, Krypton beam light bar. Illuminates countertop. Pretty sure I got this for me. In my RV, I don't know if you've ever been in an RV, but it just has the standard RV lights. And they put out so much heat, it's just unbelievable. And I just don't like the glow from them. All right. Boy, there's another auction tomorrow. I'm kind of excited. I get some good stuff from there. It's my favorite place to source. So this is a all-in-one video system, plugs right into the TV, 50 games, one unit. Let's see what year this is, 2004. So this might have value because people that were kids in 2004 are now wage earners. Well, in this day and age, who knows if anybody's earning any wages, but you know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to have to scooch down here for a minute. Let's look at the rest of the cards real quick. Man, there's a lot of cards. I didn't know it was such a big lot. I'm just blown away. Let's see what I'm, okay. So I am showing you, this is Chrome United. And I don't know if this is from United Airlines. If it is, it will have more um, desirability because people collect airline stuff. Ooh, New York. Now this is probably just, you know, some kind of touristy thing. Trademark. Oh, made in Taiwan. Okay, now these might be older. If it says made in Hong Kong or made in Taiwan, those are usually from the 70s. Kennedy Space Center. Wow. St 
still sealed. Oh, these are sealed. I had no idea they were sealed. Canada 3000. That's um, that's some kind of a, a plane. Let's see if I'm showing them to you right. I sure am. Yeah, this is great. I like to lean down like this. These are still sealed. This is Trans A, so Transatlantic. Oh, it's it's. Okay, this part's not sealed. Let's open it up so we can see if it says anything else. It says Graphica. That's the name of the company. Made in Canada. And it says Air Trans AT. So another plane. Super, you know, uh, collectible. People who collect plane stuff. Here's another plane collectible. That one says Canadian. Let's see if they're sealed on the inside. I have a feeling they will be. Oh, I'm trying not to bend that up. Oh, no, they're not sealed. So we can pull these out and look at them. And these have been played. Oh, it tells you how to play bridge. How to score bridge. Yeah, these have been played. They're well out of order, too. So I'll have to see if they're even all here. And if these being used are collectible. If not, they just become part of the decks that we use. Oh, my goodness. Django, the new film by Quentin Tarantino. Huh. That might be worth something for sure. Django Unchained, that movie. I know my husband watched that. British Airways. And it says the history, the history of passenger flight playing cards. Let's check those out. Definitely been used. It looks like somebody sorted them down though, so that means that they're probably all here. British Airways, the history of passenger flight. This unique pack of cards has been exclusively developed for British Airways. It gives an insight to the very early pioneering days of passenger flight right up to the present day. It is by no means comprehensive schedule, but we trust you will find it informative. Toy Force. I've heard of them before. So, in what way does it... Oh! The cards all feature BAC Aerospatial Concord. They feature different different planes. Victor Super VC-10. Wow! Every, every card's different. Let's see. The two here has a Boeing 377 Strato Cruiser. I think my light might be dying. And this three has a Hawker. Whatever, I can't read that tiny print. But, yeah, they're all different. That is pretty neat. Hmm. Somebody who collects British Airways things will be into that. I think we looked at all of the others I had in my hand. What is this? This is not a deck of cards. It says Real Estate Weekly. I don't know what that is. I mean, it looks like it has speaker holes on it. Maybe this is a Bluetooth thing. I gotta look at this. I'll have to open, open it up. Pitch fix. Oh, this has something to do with golf. I think I remember the listing now. I don't know. I'll, I'll look up on the listing again. I can't get this to come out very easily. And since I don't know what it is, I'm a little worried about it coming out. So I'm not... This has something to do with golf, though I'm pretty sure I remember that. this looks like the picture that I chose for my other channel called I Read Old Media. This says Pietnik Vienna, made in Austria. And there's just books on the back. Can we see the titles? Let's try to zoom in on the titles. 
Yeah, I can't read it at this angle. But we can read them while we're watching the movie later. Whatever they are, that's interesting. Okay, and here is another deck. Nation Air Canada. Your future is in the cards. Made in Canada by... It's another Graphica. And it says Quebecore Printing Graphica. Your future is in the cards. And it's got these Visa cards. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. Okay, let me zoom back out. Got to use two hands for this. And then the last deck of cards is called House of Cards, designed by Charles Eames. I've heard that name before, but I don't know how, in what retrospect. House of Cards picture deck. Can't read what it says under that. I thought it might have had a date, but I can't tell. All right. Now I see a couple of jewelry things, so I'm going to save those for the end because I love jewelry. Well, I love receiving jewelry, as you can tell, I'm not really wearing any. Now I thought these might have resale value. I wasn't sure what would be included, but it's um, Ultimate Wrestling. We've got Steve Austin in there, I recognize that name. That's about all I recognize. There's quite a few wrestling things here. Here's One Night Stand. 2008 that looks that looks horrible I don't know I hope somebody buys those I, I got it for I'm not sure exactly why I got it but I'll show you when I see it it's probably the whole Kogan thing and yeah, here's Bret Hart Hitman a three disc collection Generation D maybe that says is this guy naked? This guy's naked. He's just wearing that belt. Huh. Unforgiven. Oh, that looks horrible. All these look so scary. If you like to buy this stuff, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not being... It's not something I'm interested in seeing. Although, I used to watch it back in the day when it was Ric Flair. And I never saw this person. Anyhow, here's the Hulk Hogan one. This was the one I... He was... When I was a kid, he, he did wrestling. He came along right as I was aging out of watching this with my dad. But I just thought this might be... Sounds like the plastic is not lined up somewhere. That sounded like something broke. I didn't like the way that sounded. Okay. Let's see what the condition is on the back of these. A lot of times people buy things like this thinking they'll watch it one day and then they never do. There's not a mark on the back of that at all. I don't think it's ever been played. I get a lot of them like that where it's not sealed but you can tell nobody's used it. Now I'm excited about this too. All right, I'm excited about that. Silver plated vanity set. What all does it come with? Well, it's sealed on that end, but this end is not sealed, and it smells a little perfumey, so, or something smells perfumey, and I didn't smell it till I picked this up, so I'm guessing it has something to do with this. Wow, it's still sealed in package. I'm not going to pull that out. I'm going to see what this is worth. Uh, let's see if it's got dates on it right now. It's got one rectangular tray, one perfume bottle, and one heart-shaped box. Hmm. Toronto, made in China, imported by Shoppers Drug Mart, so I could look and see if that's still around, but you know, there's a UPC, so I can just see if anybody else has been selling it. Here's a few books, and I really don't remember getting these books at all. Something's perfuming, my goodness. I am uh, having a little bit of a reaction. I'm very excited to get this. I don't know if you saw my video a long time ago where I got some stuff from Shop Goodwill and some of them were little books that had records with them and because they have outlawed the Dukes of Hazard, this is going to be you know or it is worth money already probably so uh, I'm holding on to that for right now anyway 
Let's see what other books we have. We have Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I believe this book does sell for $10 or so, which would cover the cost of the lot. So there you go. Indiana Jones. My light went out. I don't think I can turn on another one while I'm filming. Let me try to turn on this overhead light so we can just finish this up. So we got Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom. Dallas. Wow, who even knew they made a book about that? Oh, and look, it's got that. Wow, 1981 Lorimar Productions. This is going to be worth something. It's got a name in here. Susan Noel. Susan, somebody sold your book at auction. And I have it now. My mom used to love Dallas. I wonder if this would be a good present for her. Probably not. Just stuff. This is something about Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters 2. Storybook by Jovial Bonstein. Based on the screenplay. Huh. More than 80 color photos. I was looking for the date. I don't see the date. It's a scholastic book. Wow. They must have been desperate to help want kids to read or something. I mean, basically, it's it's the whole movie in written form. That's kind of neat. All right. And this is in plastic because it's the official Rocky scrapbook by Sylvester Stallone. In his own words, Sylvester Stallone tells the rags to riches story of how he wrote the Oscar winning screenplay, Rocky, and fought to play the title role. I didn't know he wrote that. Wow, is that like a Mandela effect or did that happen in your reality too? You know, leave me a comment and let me know. I think I'm finally going to get a video that I don't have to edit. All right. This is probably a coin or something. Let's see. Let's see what's in the envelope. Ha! Ah, it is a coin. Is that the only one? What is that? I don't know what that is. It's got three presidents' heads on it. It says 50 years forward with Ford. And then it's got some dates under that. Nineteen oh three to nineteen fifty three. So this is from nineteen fifty three. It's an anniversary coin. And I'm not sure whose heads those are. Or if I can read that. Henry Ford. Oh, it's it's got Henry Ford then his than the other people who took over after it. Somebody else forward and somebody else forward. So it's got their heads on there. That's pretty cool. I, I'm pretty sure that that was extremely cheap. I don't think I would have purchased that. So it was probably like two bucks or something. Now this. I'm not sure it says silver charm something. Oh, it's a charm bracelet. Or... Why is it underneath there? These are little charms. Oh, that's attractive. This is on a chain of some sort, though. Let's let's get this out. This is interesting. Well, I guess I'll have to edit out the dead air. There were a few little things in there, okay? Let's see if I can get the lighting right for you. So there are a lot of little charms. This one's a lobster. And then I think this is to represent a jeweled necklace. And then this is like a little a pot, a pot or a honey pot. Or, oh, it's pen and ink. That's what it is. And here is a little bear. And you can see he's like iridescent. Like he's made out of um, abalone or something. And this is... Is this a lion? Because I'm a Leo. I think that 
that might be a griffin or something because it seems to have wings and this is just a little piece of a chain I, I don't know if this is like a phone charm and then I found this broken piece of a chain in there so maybe maybe it was a charm bracelet that wasn't broken and it got broken I don't know but the charms are where the money is anyways oh look it's like an Illuminati thing maybe but it's got like a a genie lamp on it and then here is this is like the, the hematite type feeling stuff I don't know if it is it's a dolphin and then this little charm says something on it best friends thank goodness for our zoom and then this is probably uh, well it's some sort of a bird I was going to say it's to represent the phoenix or something, but I don't know that for sure. And then this is just a couple of little things. And here's a little teddy bear charm. And that's all the charms on there. Now this was inside there too. And it said Samaro H. Stern. So that is for that one charm. Let's find the English version here. And it tells you about Shamaro, and it says it's a traditional gaucho drink. It's prepared in a mate gourd made of parango fruit and drank with a metal pump. So it's a symbol of friendship and sociability. Huh. All right. Well, that's pretty exciting. It explains that's not pen and ink, then. It's to represent that kind of a drink. Because that is the the picture there so that that's interesting that I have the, the literature that came with it people really like charms and charm bracelets I've noticed I've sold every one I've ever had listed and that's better than some items okay well I have so many videos you might begin to see videos coming out that are recorded at a different time right now it is August like 8th or something I better check because if it's not 8th yet y'all think I'm time traveling it's August 7th <laughs> so I have several videos I've recorded in the past and I'm gonna try to edit them oh I missed something wait a minute there's something over here wrapped in bubble wrap I didn't open yet let me set those charms down I don't know what this is but I hope it's something good since we're getting into it after we thought we were done I gotta pause and open it. Oh, all right. Well, these are something to do with trains. There were three of them in the picture I saw, I, I'm pretty sure, so I'm gonna have to look into that. But this is HO scale trains and nobody else bet on them so I thought you know what I don't know this one's an original box and it says roundhouse products HO gauge detailed scaled authentic design let's see what it looks like hmm. FEC 23032 did that little door open Well, I don't want to mess with it because it's an electric train, so it's probably got some works in there or something. There's a little wheel on the end. Huh. So this is an original box. Let's see if there's a date on it. Hmm. You know, there might be. I want to show you this real quick. This is a paper box, which is worth money, and they have stuck a sticker on it. A lot of people know better than to do that <laughs> when they're dealing with antiques and I, I don't know if I've ever written to them about that but I've had so many problems with shipping I don't want to start a new problem with them so I, I hope they learn that tags with strings are the better way to go or use those you know store things where you can attach a little zip tie to it or something 
but this sticker crap is unbelievable. And look, this is $35, and I'm pretty sure they mean $35. I, I got those for like five bucks, so I'm pretty sure those are sellable. All right, I'm really done now. Bye.